Good morning once again and welcome to Some Good Seeds. It's hard to believe it's the 1st of April already. Uh, especially it's hard when there's still snow on the ground all around here. Uh, and well, I woke up this morning, the first morning in quite a while that I've awakened when uh, it was above freezing. So spring's on the way. Yay. <laughs> well, it's a, it's good to be here today with you. And thanks for, for joining me on this uh, edition of Some Good Seeds. Uh, Judges 11 and 12, Psalm 50 and 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Uh, the verse, well, two verses actually out of 2 Corinthians really spoke to me in my devotions uh, for this day. Uh, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Well, there's a whole uh, boatload of stuff to unpack in those two verses. Uh, sometimes I get to things like this and I hardly even know where to begin. Uh, oh, oh, first of all, praise and adoration belongs to the Lord. It's to be offered to him because of who he is and what he has done. We could uh, go on for a long time thinking and meditating on that and be blessed by every one of those thoughts because he is the God of mercy and all comfort. Mercy is not getting what we deserve. Grace is getting what we don't deserve, but mercy is not getting what we do deserve. Comfort comes, us, com comfort comes to us because of the mercy of God. The words all comfort in this passage come from the ancient Greek word paraklesis, and the idea behind this word for comfort in the New Testament is always more than just a soothing comforting. It has the idea of strengthening, of helping, of making strong. And the idea behind this word is communicated in the Latin by the word comfort for comfort, which is fortis, which also means brave. So, uh, so there's, there is this idea that in the midst of trials and temptations, there is this comfort that is given to us by God in order that we might be brave, that we might be strong, and in the middle of that testing, we'd be able to stand. And where does that all come from? Well, it comes from the God of all comfort. He sustains us by his mighty hand. So where does all that come from? From the God of mercies. What does that mean to us? He sees us and knows that we are weak and frail and in need of mercy and in need of, in need of comfort. So can we draw? Is this something that we can draw upon in times of testing? Absolutely. Paul considers the father a comforter, a paraclete, from the word paraclesis. We also know that the Holy Spirit is our paraclete. Uh, John 14, 20, 16, 26, 15, 26, 16, 7. Those are all verses uh, that speak to us of the importance of that position, that the Lord Jesus Christ is also that. The Holy Spirit is that one who comes alongside. So we have this situation where God in every respect, the fullness of his being, God, one God in three persons, the Holy Trinity, where we uh, experience the full extent of his comfort, of his strength, and of his help. When? Well, in times of testing, and we're, we are we are so well protected and cared for, dear ones. We have a God who watches over us and cares for us every minute of every day. Praise the Lord. I'm so blessed uh, to be reminded of this. Uh, and that's the purpose of it all. So that when I'm tested, when I go through that and am comforted, I then in turn can be a comfort to others who are going through right now what I have been through. And so that we experience that comfort that comes uh, from uh, the Father to each and every one of us. It just speaks once again of the importance of having a body mentality, realizing that we are a part of something that is greater than ourselves, that we are blessed to be able to participate in that together so that we can comfort and encourage and strengthen one another in times of testing. Because times of testing are coming, they are here, they uh, are things that we experience on a daily on a daily basis. So what do we do in the midst of that? We remember what God has done for us, how he has comforted us and helped us so we can trust in him today. Amen. I pray that's a blessing to you. Some of you may be just going through it right now. Well, listen, God cares for you and he knows what you need and he is there to comfort you and strengthen you. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you. Hey, and if it's a blessing, subscribe. 
uh, click on the like button. That's always a blessing to see that. And especially if you leave a little note once in a while, I really do appreciate that. So thanks for doing that. May the Lord richly bless you today.